Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my repurposed tape cassette holder. So let's go ahead and see the finished project. So this is the finished project. In my part one, I showed you guys how I spray painted the um, tape cassette holder white and this is what it turned out looking like. And I want to show you guys how I have my inks displayed. And so as you see, I have a ton of room left over to be able to add some more inks. What I've done here is I took time and labeled all my Distress Outside inks. I printed out a sheet with all the names of the Distress Outside inks using Word program, Microsoft Word. And then what I did is I took my dauber with the little sponge and I went ahead and I um, used those to... Um, color up the words that I printed out and then I use my cutter to cut the strips of the words and then I actually glued them on I glued them on the um, the actual distress outside ink pad so that way when I get ready to use them I can see them easier than them being inside this tape cassette holder and they were hard to determine what color they are because on the top of the um, color I'm gonna show you guys it's actually the colors on top right here as you see and it doesn't have it around it and so what I did is I added the label so that's what was around it was just a gray base of how it's made and so I took time and I actually distressed ink the name of the color so this was crap pistachio and so um, I labeled it and so that way I can see the colors very easily and then I also took the um, sponges and laid it right next to it so anytime I need them I will always have that sponge available like right here there and I kind of staggered them here on my tape cassette holder this project turned out really really nice I love it and as you see I have some other inks displayed right here as well so this is what they all look like and I'm probably later going to go back and add um, the labels to these as well um, this project didn't take long at all to do and to complete but I love the fact that I have so much extra room to grow to add more inks if I choose to purchase more later on but this is what I have and guys thank you so much for taking out time to watch my first part and as well as the second part video to get an idea on how to store your distress outside inks or any of your inks that you may have in your collection so I hope I can't wait to see what you guys create and I hope you take um, this ideal and use it to your advantage or take from it what you need. This is Tanya with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and you guys have a wonderful crafty day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Bye bye.